Hi, my name is Vachi Sapanian, and joining us today is Dr. Kay Muradian. She is an author and a prof professor at Los Angeles Community College. She will be joining the Armenian Speaker Series presented by Glendale Unified School District this Wednesday, April 28th at 1 p.m. And you can register by visiting www.gusc.net slash APR28. Thank you, Dr. Muradian, for taking time and joining us today. Thank you very much for having me, Vache. It's quite an honor to be here today, especially since this day, April 24, 2021, President Biden has acknowledged the Armenian atrocities that happened in 1915 as genocide. It has taken 106 years for that recognition to take place. So this is a very special day and I feel honored to be part of this series uh, because of that. Thank you so much for that information, yes. So um, I would like to start off this um, interview. If you can give us more information about yourself to begin with. Yes, you know, I, I have some uh, association here with the uh, Glendale Unified School District. Uh, my book, uh, My Mother's Voice, is the story about my mom's survival from the Armenian Genocide. And uh, we made a documentary. I found a filmmaker and I turned my mom's story into a 25 minute documentary that we had designed specifically for history classes. And it's much too serious a tragic event in history for that to happen. So many of us have been working very hard to get the Armenian genocide not only recognized as genocide uh, because it has not been formally addressed as genocide from the U.S. government, but it has finally happened. So things are, are moving along nicely now. One more thing, uh, I, I, you know, I'm indebted to the uh, teachers at uh, CV High School, uh, predominantly Brent Beerman and his wife, uh, Kathy Ch Chapler Beerman, because they turned my mother's story into a musical and they had about nine performances and it was absolutely spectacular and there's no better way for students to learn about the genocide than actually play the roles of those who were deported so uh, i'm grateful to be associated with uh, glendale unified from that perspective so thank you thank you so much so at this time we're actually going to go and watch a short trailer of your mom's voice and then we'll be back to continue the interview Okay, we'll be right back. Armenians, Armenians must, must be prepared, prepared to leave within five days under the escort of the Turkish army. You may take any movable items with you, but you are forbidden to sell your houses or your land. All weapons must be turned over to the government. Those that refrain from leaving or try to hide will be shot. My mother Flora and millions of other Armenians were caught up in this nightmare and her future and even her life depended upon their whims. Becoming an orphan after losing her family in the Armenian genocide, my mother took a chance that the man in the picture would make a good husband and I am a witness to say that he did. When I was a kid growing up in Boston, my mother would tell me stories about her tragic life in Turkey, but those stories went in one ear and right out the other. I was too busy trying to be an American kid like my friends, so I never really knew what happened to the Turkish-Armenian community during World War I. All that changed when my mother nearly died at the age of 83. That's when I started to read about what happened in Turkey during the Great War, and I was overwhelmed with the depth of cruelty inflicted on the Turkish-Armenians in 1915. I am my mother's voice, and this is her story. You just saw the trailer of A Mother's uh, Voice by Dr. Muradian. Um, okay, welcome back viewers. And now um, I would like to ask a second question, Dr. Muradian. So why did you decide to participate in this uh, Armenian Genocide Speaker Series? Because it was just one more opportunity to get the, uh, the story of the genocide that happened in 1915 out to a more, a larger audience. And that, that is my purpose. Uh, I spent 
probably a good 10 years researching the topic, this topic. Uh, my mother was a survivor. She would tell me stories as a kid, but I never listened. So I was an adult before I really learned about what happened to the Armenians uh, in Turkey in 1915. So it was really my research and my dedication to history to get the story out on a much larger scale. So, but now within all of my research, I learned a great deal about Henry Morgenthau, who was the American ambassador uh, from 1913 to 1916. And I was fortunate in that I was able to read through all of his State Department documents housed at the Library of Congress. And so he was really my source for the history of what happened in 1915. And he was such a great soul. What I really want to talk about on Wednesday is how he became this great human being. This, this uh, wealthy entrepreneur, uh, a humanitarian, uh, a diplomat extraordinary. And he all started that at age 14 when he made uh, a series of qualities that he wanted to incorporate into his life uh, to become, and eventually he became this great human being because he started at age 14. So my purpose for this is to try to reach students in these wonderful teenage years that are formative, really formative in developing this, this youngster into either a great human being or maybe one that's not so great. And it's all under his control or her control starting in their teenage years. And I just want to make them alert to that fact. And so probably the uh, Wednesday session on the 28th will be predominantly about Henry Morgatha and how he became this great soul. Okay, my guest for today on Glendale Unified School District News was Dr. K. Moradian, who is an author and professor at Los Angeles Community College. Thank you so much, Dr. Moradian, for taking time and joining us uh, today from your busy schedule. And I wanna remind viewers one more time, they place the flyers attached on your screen right now, this Wednesday, April 28th at 1 p.m. Register at www.gusd.net slash APR28. That is www.gusc.net slash APR28. Thank you so much for taking time and we will see you on Wednesday, April 28th. Thanks for coming back to our audience.